What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with a quick lunchtime video. Please forgive the crudity of the video. I am still having difficult uh, with my upload speeds on my computer. For whatever reason, it is taking an hour, two, three hours to upload and process a six-minute video. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just glad I can live stream still because uh, my upload speeds on my computer are really slow. My phone, they're not, so I'm just doing a quick video. Normally, I'll be doing the videos and scheduling them for the next day so that they can just come out and it can look a lot better than this looks. Um, and, of course, tonight, don't forget, man, I'll be live 8.30 Yankees twins ALDS game three hope all the Yankee fans will be there as we look to close out the twins and move on to the ALCS so I hope you guys will join me for that I've had a lot of fun doing that uh they've been pretty good streams and I hopefully we get more people in there and hopefully we can celebrate moving on to the next round tonight so Golden State comes out and says he's not happy with his role in the offense Golden Tate says Golden Tate, I'm going to say this. Dave Gettleman has made some really good moves. He's made some questionable moves. I know a lot of guys are going to, they killed Dave Gettleman for the Nate Solder thing. Nate Solder's played like hot garbage since he got here. But I'm not going to fault Gettleman for that because Gettleman went out and got the best left tackle he could. And knowing that that was a need we needed to address, moving Eric Flowers to right tackle to try to get something out of a first round top 10 pick that was 23 years old didn't work. And the Solder thing hasn't really worked. But I'm not going to get on Gettleman for that. The Ogletree thing, bad move. You know, and Gettleman's made his bad moves. No GM bats a 1,000. The Golden Tate thing was questioned by a lot of people because they said, why are you going to trade Odell Beckham to bring in Golden Tate? Now, Golden Tate was supposed to be a good locker room guy, a veteran presence. He's going to help these young receivers develop. And he's been nothing but a disaster since he got it. He got suspended for the first four games for using an illegal substance. Uh, supposedly, he's trying to have a kid, 31, and you can't have children. I, listen, dude, I'm 43. You, you need to borrow something, you know, just let me know. I got you because I'd probably be able to make them into my 60s because that's how bad dog rolls, okay? But regardless, this guy hasn't been here for four games. Kills the freaking team. Not doing us any favors by be, being suspended for a quarter of the season. So he's contributed absolutely nothing the first four games. Nothing. He's done nothing to help this team. This guy comes back week five. And expects to automatically have a massive role in the offense. How much does he work with Daniel Jones? How much does he work with the first string offense? Can't really do much when you're suspended, correct? So what do you expect? Do you expect to have the game plan revolve around you? Your first game back after you've been suspended for four games? I'm so sick of these me, 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 me type of players. That's one of the reasons we supposedly got rid of Odell Beckham is because he was a me guy supposedly, and he was bad culture, right? The whole thing about the culture. Somehow Golden Tate's going to come in here and automatically, right away, complain about his role in the offense. It would be one thing, and I still wouldn't like it if he did this, but it would be one thing if he was there the first four games. And that was his role in the offense the first four games. In the fifth game, it continued to be that way, where he got no targets, and they didn't use him. And he said, you know, I feel like I could be a bigger part in this offense, you know? I feel like they're not utilizing me enough. I feel like I can contribute more. It'd be one thing if he's been there the whole year and we've done this to him every game. But your first game back after you got suspended and now you're talking about you don't like how they're using you. One game with a new team and a new quarterback. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? How about... Worry about the damn team and what's best for the team instead of worrying about your damn self. Why are these players like that? You know? Did he come out? Now, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he came out and apologized to the New York Giants for his suspension. But again, you're not doing the team any favors by complaining about your role in the offense after one game. Why are you complaining? Like I said, if they continue to use them like this, I still wouldn't like him saying it because it sounds selfish and greedy to me that, hey, this revolves around me. The game plan should revolve around me. What'd you bring me in here for if you're not going to throw the ball to me all the time? I still wouldn't like it, but if we did this to him the whole season, I would understand it. But your first game back from a four-game suspension, I just don't understand how you can come out and say you don't like your role in the offense. 
Like they were supposed to just, well, you know what? Golden Tate's back. He's never been a part of the Giants. It's his first year here. He hasn't played a single solitary game with us in the NFL, you know, a regular season. But how about we devise an offensive game plan that revolves around Golden Tate? That just doesn't make any sense to me at all. You know, I'm sick of these guys running their mouth. Shut your mouth, do your job, and play football. Play football. Especially if you're a guy that got suspended the first four games and did nothing to help your team. You got no room to say anything to anybody. You should be ashamed and embarrassed and very apologetic for being suspended for those four games. So you have their four games suspension, you don't come out and immediately complain about your role in the offense and your first team, your first game of the new team. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I'm just sick. I, I'm sick and tired of losing. I'm sick and tired of everything that's going on here. We're trying to change it. You bring in a guy that you think is going to be good for the team, you think is going to be a good influence, and this is how he acts. He gets suspended, and then he complains game one. Don't understand this at all. So like I said, shut your mouth, contribute to the team. They will use you the way they want to use you. I don't know what else to tell you. You had no problem signing that contract, making that money. So just help the team. Whatever they need to do, whatever your role is, do it to the best of your ability and help this team win. Don't complain about not, not liking your role in the offense. Just it, it, that, that completely baffles me. Don't understand his point of view or what the hell he's talking about. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like I said, I'll be live for the Yankees and Twins tonight. My videos will get back to the green screen. I just wanted to cut a quick lunchtime video. And like I said, this wouldn't upload for four hours. So I just wanted to knock this out, get my thoughts on it. I'll have a couple of videos tomorrow. I'll record them tonight and, and, and uh, bring them tomorrow. And hopefully at some point, whatever's going on with my computer will stop. And I'll get back to having my upload speed so I can just do videos like this when I feel like doing. Uh, until uh, tonight, guys, it is Bear Dog. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I am gone.